So our electric go-kart, we built a battery for it, which we posted on YouTube. That battery, as of like a couple months ago, just stopped working. There's some sort of series connection that lost, uh, basically shorted. And so it doesn't work right now. And I thought we can definitely do this battery a lot better. So we ordered these new batteries. They're basically like pouch batteries that can connect together like this. I figured it's a lot easier for us for our battery configuration to do. So the plan is today to get that all hooked up with the new BMS and everything. Alrighty, so we bought these batteries from Battery Hookup, which is a website we use to find all sorts of different battery deals. Uh, highly recommend checking them out. The batteries we bought are the SPIM08HP batteries here. Uh, they're $6 a piece and they're 3.7 volts and 16 amp hours per cell. And for this project, we bought 20 of these batteries. At the time of recording this, I believe that they're out of stock, but I sent them an email and it looks like they're gonna be restocking these in the future, so keep an eye out. I highly recommend these batteries. So this is the rough plan for how we wanted to build our battery. If you look at the diagram there at the top, you can see uh, the cells in the configuration of 10S 2P. What that means is that there's gonna be 10 series connections and two parallel connections. So the cells are connected in parallel, uh, in pairs, and then those pairs are then connected in series 10 times. The rectangles that connect the tops and the bottoms of the batteries are the bus bars that we're gonna use, and the asterisks show the points at which we're gonna use the BMS to capture voltage readings. For this configuration, this would yield us a 36 volt and 32 amp hour battery. So we would need to create two of these in order to get 72 volts for the go-kart. Once we figured out our plan, it was time to order all the cells and get building. Okay, so for these batteries, we also have these um, plates that allow us to connect them together. All of them have st are studded right here and you can just screw right into them, just like that. These plates mount in there and allow us to make our parallel or series connections. Um, also have these little clear plexiglass pieces and we'll use those to basically make a separation between the sides so that there's no shortage. So, this system is just going to be a lot more robust. It's going to be a lot more uh, less prone to failure uh, than our previous battery that we built. So really excited to get this going. Also, really quick, these bus bars here are a lot thicker than what we were dealing with on our other battery. It's going to allow a lot more current transfer. So theoretically, we should be able to push this battery harder than we pushed the other battery. This is snap. A little nipple on these that kind of connect them together that we need to just take off so we can hook them put negative to positive.
Here's the wiring diagram that we used to hook up the BMS to the battery. We started by connecting the B- side to the negative of the first series connection. Then we hooked up the positive side to the BMS sensing line. We repeated this process for all 20 groups. After that, we attached the B positive side to the last series group, which read 72 volts. That would be our positive output for the battery. The negative is the C minus coming out of the BMS, which controls 
turning on and off the battery. To activate the BMS, you need a voltage source of 3.7 volts connected to the two little wires uh, on the left side of the BMS. We used a power supply in our uh, case, and then everything is ready to go. Here's the final product of the battery after we used some heat shrink to wrap it up and installed it into the go-kart. And that's a wrap on the build. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to see what's in store next. Till next time, Nut Stuff out.